Hi! I can't believe you caught me singing RBD. Um, you like my new pimples on my face? They're super cute. Um, hi friends. How's it going? That's on your intro. Hey everybody, I'm G. If you don't know me, I hope you're here to learn more about me. How are you friends? How are you doing? How is your heart? Okay, good. We will work on that. So, sorry, I just had to close out my health map and make sure. Um, the music could randomly start playing. Hi! How's it going? Um, I hope you're having a great day as you can tell by the title of this video. Today we're talking about how I got into dental hygiene school. This is a requested video. Um, somebody in my YouTube comments requested it and then a bunch of people on my stories commented it, like replied to my stories asking. Anytime I post like hygiene stuff, people are like, can you talk about like the process of getting in and stuff? So here I am. I can absolutely talk about that for you guys. I know that before I started school or even before I was interviewed, I started looking things up on YouTube, like getting into dental hygiene school. Like, what is that like? What does it look like? Um, what's the process? So I am very excited to share that with you guys. And I hope you learn something from this video. Dental hygiene kind of fell into my lap. Um, I always had an interest in the dental field. It was always something that I knew I wanted to be a part of, but I didn't necessarily know like where that was going to be for me. So um, yeah, I am here to share the story with you guys. I hope you're excited and ready to hear. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will more, I will be more than happy to respond to them or make more videos if you guys want. Um, so my story is a little different. So if I don't hit all the same topics that somebody else would hit, go watch somebody else's video. You can just Google like getting into dental hygiene school and I'm sure somebody who doesn't have the same path that I do or I did can answer all of your questions for you. Um, before I start the video, I got a new water bottle. I got a new Hydro Flask. Everybody's on that Stanley Cup kick and I'm just not a Stanley girl. I'm a Hydro Flask girly through and through. Where's a little Hydro Flask thing? Oh, right there. I'm a Hydro Flask girly. It's just, it's just who I am. I was about to start singing Camp Rock, so I'm gonna spare you from that. I also have another video that I'm about to film, so I have all the stuff like laid out right here for that video, but we can go ahead and just jump into the video. So the first thing that I kind of want to mention or talk about about dental hygiene school, if you're considering it or thinking about it or you're applying or whatever, maybe if you're about to start, the best piece of advice that I can give you is to learn to work with your hands and to learn to work with criticism. I was given this like advice, if you will. I don't know why the words wouldn't come out of my mouth before I started from our program director, which she is everything and so much more to me. I love her with every single thing that I have. Um, learn to work with your hands. And if you don't like doing that, then dentistry is probably not for you. If you don't have a creative bone in your body, Dentistry might not be for you. Um, if you are not super detailed, if you are not one of those people who would entitle themselves as perfectionist, dentistry might not be for you. I really do think that I'm a perfectionist in all, most aspects of my life and where I'm not a perfectionist, my OCD is. I've talked about that before. I struggle a lot with like not being able to leave something alone until it's completely perfect and to the way that I think it should be. So if you're not one of those people, I don't know that hygiene or dentistry is something that you're really gonna love because it's very meticulous and very detail oriented. And like you're working with like millimeters, okay? Like we're working in millimeters. Like do you realize how small a millimeter is? I don't think you realize because I didn't before I started school. But anyway, that's just that also. But if you love working with people and you like to work with your hands, the dentistry, like the field of dentistry might be for you. So just keep your eyes and minds open while we talk. Okay, so my story starts, um, LOL. I went to high school. I went to um, an all girls Catholic school and I knew that I wanted to go into something in the healthcare science field. Didn't really know which way I was gonna go with that. And then I went to Baylor for four years, Baylor University in Waco, Texas. Um, it is a very large personality trait of mine if you go to school with me or if you know me you know that. Um, I love Baylor with everything that I have and I don't know that I could be pre as prepared as I am for anything if I hadn't gone to Baylor. I just wanna shout that out. Shout out Baylor Science uh, Building, Science Department. Love you all, shout out, okay? Um, was it hard? Were those four years grueling? Yes, they were nearly impossible. 
And there was a time there where I went a little dark, like Meredith Grey twisted sister dark. But I don't think that I would have been prepared for what I was to endure later in life without that education and that preparation. So I got a degree in biology from Baylor. So I went all four years because I really didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I had options and I knew that I wanted to do something healthcare related, but I didn't necessarily know what that was going to be at the time. So I went and got my biology degree. I actually started out as a psychology major and I realized very quickly that it was not for me. Um, if you're somebody who's going in as a psych major, just be prepared for like a lot of reason, like reading and statistics. That's honestly a lot of what psychology is, is just reading and statistics. It's, it's not like learning new patterns and new behaviors and like ways to like read people's mind. Like that's not what psychology is. If I'm not mistaken, like my first year as a psych major, it was like all my psych classes were just reading and understanding statistics. That was it. Like that was literally it. It wasn't until you got to those upper level electives that I realized like my friends that stayed psych majors actually took classes that was like, oh. But anyway, that's that. So I went to Baylor, got my degree in biology. I'm gonna try really hard to like concise this. Um, got my degree in biology, didn't really know what I was gonna do after graduation. It took me a minute to kind of figure it out. And then I thought maybe I'd wanna be a dentist. And then hygiene kind of fell into my lap. I kind of came across that and I was like, well, this seems like something that I would be very interested in. And if I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know anything about the dental hygiene process. I knew way more about the dental school process, um, like way, way, way more. Um, I didn't really know what the hygiene process like entailed or like what it was gonna look like or what I needed to do. But luckily because I had already had a degree, I didn't have to take any extra classes. Um, I was completely done with all of my prereqs because my biology degree filled every single prereq that I needed. So if I'm not wrong, you can take two years of prereqs at a community college and then you can do your last two years. Your last two years will be considered like the years that you are in hygiene school. I think it's becoming more common for people to get a four year degree and then go to hygiene school. I think originally it was like the two year community college then to hygiene. Um, but in my program is a bachelor's program. I don't I think every single program across the country is a bachelor's degree program, but mine is. Okay, sorry, hold on. What I was trying to say is that not every program across the country is a bachelor's program, but mine is. I don't think it really made sense when I said it. So I'm inserting a clip. Not every hygiene program is a bachelor's program. I think most of them are associates. Every now and then there's a bachelor's. Mine is a bachelor's. Okay, bye. And it does make it harder. Um, there are more classes we take, there are more requirements while we're in school, which honestly will make me a better clinician in the end, it'll be fine, but it does get a little bit more grueling, so to say. So so the two years of prereqs and then you apply online. Um, I think there's like essay questions and just like a basic thing you fill out and then I sent that in and I think within 24 hours, I got an email back saying that the school wanted to give me an interview. So at the time it was still like, like peak COVID time. So they didn't do in-person interviews, which I don't know about every dental hygiene program, but my program does do in-person interviews now. And they're usually like half of a day. Like I think you go in in the morning and you do an interview with the program director, maybe like a faculty member, then you get a tour of the school, and then I think you do some sort of like questionnaire situation and then they send you on your way. So my school does a little bit more of an intense interviewing process, if you will. Um, a little bit more similar mirrored to a dental school interview, if I'm not mistaken, because I did know a lot about that interviewing process. Um, so that's kind of how that went. I did an interview, they asked me a bunch of different questions like what was the hardest class in, that I took in undergrad and why did I take it? What was my favorite class in undergrad? How I was spending my time during the pandemic, like what I was doing and I actually started a small business. I don't even know if my classmates like in hygiene school know that, but I started a small business where I made masks, like I hand dyed them. I like had graduated and so I was like, I guess I'll start a small business. And it's actually called Neutral Avocado. It was a small business on Etsy and I closed the shop because I, once school started, I didn't have time for it anymore. But um, I actually made decent money doing that. And then, okay, sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, so I started a small business and I talked about that during my interview. Like I talked a lot about that because I, do, I donated a lot of my money to like COVID relief funds or like um, companies that were doing things for COVID relief, if that makes sense. And then I talked about 
they asked me like what kind of program or what kind of things I've seen like hygienists do and like why I'm interested in hygiene which there's a lot of different reasons and you need to find your why so I really don't even want to give you like what I said um, because you need to find the reason you want to do it because when times get really tough in school you're gonna have to remind yourself your why but I think I said something along the lines of like it mixes the things that are most important to me in life and that's patient care that's science and creativity and like dentistry has all three of those and they asked me to expand on that because they don't just want like a short answer from you um so i did have to expand on that when they asked me and then if i had applied to any other programs which i hadn't i had just applied to mine and then there's a couple other questions that were like tricky hard questions and i don't i think i had to like think for a second but they made me feel very welcome like the whole time that I was being interviewed. They didn't make me feel like I didn't know what it was what I was doing or like what I was saying. Actually, my program director looked up my small business like while I was in the middle of the interview. Partially, I'm like, did she do that just to see if I was lying? Probably. But also because now that I know her, I know that that professor just like wanted to see and she wanted to be like, oh, that's cool. Um, but anyway, so that was the interview process. And then I finished that and within like an hour or so i got an invitation to like apply to the or not apply but like accept an offer to be a part of the next incoming class so it's pretty immediate for me um and it was actually really like exciting because it was the first thing in life other than college college was like my biggest accolade so far and I was very proud of myself for getting my biology degree because it was something that I did by myself and getting into hygiene school was something I did all on my own like nobody helped me and I was really proud of myself I actually cried when I got my acceptance like email or whatever and then that was basically it after that um orientation happened did I say that right orientation um orientation happened and we got to meet our bigs and it was pretty smooth sailing from there there really wasn't much else after that trying to think if there's any specific classes that they ask you to take but I had a biology degree so again I took all the science classes but I think they make you take like A and P and then chemistry and there's a couple other classes that I really can't remember that they made you take you can always look on the school's like website like the program requirements and it'll usually say but I am really happy with the like where I'm at in my career I guess you could say like my student career I'm finally feeling like a confident clinician and I'm finally starting to feel like this is exactly what was meant for me in my life and at this moment like this is where I'm supposed to be right now and not gonna lie I struggled to get here and if you watched any of my end of semester end of year videos you should go watch those you can see like you can see the progression because I started off like really frustrated and it was hard it was really hard because you have to be your own cheerleader hygiene is not for like the faint of heart and if you're somebody who doesn't accept criticism well, like honestly, any healthcare field probably isn't for you if you don't accept criticism well. And like, I'm talking like in your face criticism, not like I'm gonna send you an email and the things you need to fix, like in your face. Um, that's not to say that those professors aren't doing that or saying that because they don't want you to be better. They, they're saying those things because they want you to be better and they want to see you at your highest potential. And they know that you can get there, so that's why they do it. And I realize it now, it just wasn't fun in the moment. And it does bog you down a little bit. It like brings you, it knocks you, it knocks you down a couple pegs and it doesn't make you feel super great, but now I can see the purpose behind it. If, again, getting into school, that's kind of the process. It's really not that lengthy. Um, if you guys want me to talk more about like what the interview was like, let me know. If you want to know more about like what your first year is like or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make more videos because I enjoy making videos and you guys request them because I know that you want to watch them. Um, with that being said, if you want to go into dental hygiene, you're going to do great. It's going to be awesome and you'll make some of the best friends you've ever had in your life because I know that I have and it's a great career like it really is does it take a toll on your body yes but every career at some point takes a toll on your body whether that be mental or physical um so that's really all that i have i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe down below it helps out my channel a lot i hope something good happens to you after you watch this video and i'll see you guys next time bye everybody